Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you all how to make your very own hot dog needle tool. You'll need clay for the bun, the dog, and the facial features. You'll also need some wire cutters or scissors, a dotting tool, and some wire. You'll want to start by cutting off about 5 centimeters or 2 inches of your wire. I'm using 22 caliber wire, but you can use anything you like. And you just want to kind of bend one end of the wire so that there's something for the clay to stick to. Once you're done bending the wire, you can then take your red clay and put it on the wire and shape it into a sort of wiener-like shape. After the hot dog is completed, we can now start to work on the buns. So you're going to take your beige clay and roll it into a loaf shape or a long rounded log and then cut it in half. As you can probably see, I kind of cut it a little uneven so I just trimmed more off the other end. Now what I'm doing is I'm rounding the inside edges of the buns so that they'll fit around the hot dog better. To give the buns more texture, I'm just using another needle tool that I made and scratching around randomly. If you don't have a needle tool and wanted to add some texture, you could also use a toothbrush or some tin foil. When you're done adding texture, you can then attach the buns to the hot dog and then smooth the back so that they stay on after baking. Now that we're done with the basic shape of the hot dog, we can add a few finer features. So I'm going to use my needle tool to etch on a cross at the bottom and the top of the hot dog. Now it's time for the face. This part is optional. I'm going to take a tiny bit of black clay and roll it into the skinniest snake imaginable and cut off two tiny, tiny pieces and roll them into tiny little balls for the eyes. Then I'm going to cut a tiny snake for the mouth. Before I attach the eyes, I'm taking my needle tool again and making two small indents. And because they're so tiny, I'm using my dotting tool to help me press them in without getting my fingerprints everywhere. I then attach the mouth in a similar fashion. I'm giving my hot dog a little smiley face, but you can give him any expression you want. I think it would be hilarious to see a surprised looking hot dog. Another optional step I decided to add at the very end was a line of mustard. So I grabbed some yellow clay and rolled that into a snake and then attached it to the hot dog. After you're done making your hot dog, you can bake according to your package directions and then wait until it is completely cooled if you decide to glaze. Now that you know how to make your very own hot dog needle tool, I'll show you a couple other designs I've made. Peas in a pod and a couple of blueberries stacked on one another. The possibilities truly are endless. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.